Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your hosts, Steph and Rick. Today, we're going to jump in our hot tub time machine, go back to Throwback Thursday. Today, we're going to be doing The Clumps, which is the second iteration of the Nutty Professor movie. Uh, and before we get into our review, if you like what we're doing here on the channel with our reviews of movies, shows, animes, and games, please join the family, subscribe like leave a comment and you know just become part of our movie social family so rick your whole reaction on the second uh Nutty professor the clumps i mean listen it's eddie murphy yes sherman 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 yes hilarious this whole thing is always hilarious especially with the the mom and her uh hercules 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 <laughs> sheesh Everything comes in threes, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, that rhyme too. But no, all, overall though, very funny movie, very funny franchise. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't try to do some kind of uh, continuation oh, yeah, agree. down the line. Since everything's coming back with either a remake or a sequel. Agree. I mean, I agree. And to piggyback off of you really quickly, it was a great movie. Um, And you know they say how some originals or some sequels aren't better than the original. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, the second, The Clumps, was better than the first one, simply because it elaborated on his family more. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, it's just him, but the different roles that he played for his family mm -hmm. was absolutely hilarious. Um, I, I love literally everything about it. The storyline, the, 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 the entirety of the family. Like, mm -hmm. the... The roles and the makeup that you can honestly think that he had to go through was phenomenal. Um, I had to still one of your words there. <laughs> but uh, all in all, a great movie. One of the best comedy movies of all time, in my opinion. Okay. So, if you have a least favorite part or your least favorite thing about the movie, what is that? And then also, as well, your favorite part. Honestly, I have neither, to be really? honest. Mm. It was just too many to pick for a favorite part and... I really didn't have nothing to go against it. It was just great. Like, first of all, from going from the first one to this one and seeing everything that transpired in the first one and then ha letting all this still happen in the second one. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah. Hilarious. How beats me. How do you, how the fact that they topped it? Yeah. But do, yeah, I mean... I honestly think that it had to do with the fact that, again, the first one was just buddy love him and then the love interest. This call, you know, this had his family in it a lot more. I mean, the family yeah. was in the first one, but the family yeah, was, but the family was more center stage this time. Exactly, just, which made for the most part. which made it hilarious. Like that whole, like I literally think the movie, and again, my I can't, I don't, I had to kind of agree with you. I don't have a favorite part because there's so many, like. The movie set its tone when that family went to the buffet. Like, that's literally one of the first scenes. They go to the buffet, and you see all these husky people. Tape what? Table for 10 or something like that? Whatever, how many it was? And they literally clean out the buffet. They ate the things that people won't even eat. Like, they clean up the buffet. Then you got the, the, the younger one over at the uh, ice cream machine right underneath it. They throw a fork at them. Like... <laughs> that, just to think, like that was just absolutely hilarious. Then you have the strip, the the uh, bachelorette party thing with the with the grandma with the stripper man scene. Like the, those, I yeah, are parts was... are iconic. Wow, those parts are iconic, and literally just makes the movie in the entirety just great in my opinion. Definitely. So my question would be: If no one's seen this movie yet, which if you haven't seen this movie. I don't know what's going on, but if no one, if, if our, some of our viewers haven't seen this yet, would you recommend this? Definitely. You should definitely check it out. It's entertaining. It's hilarious. I mean, it's a movie that you can watch anytime, any day. Might be a little something that you want, want to watch around kids too much. Makes it for fun. language and humor. But definitely, very great comedy. One of Eddie Murphy's finest. 
Maybe he should go back to his roots a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. He's lost his way with me, Dave, and all that. <laughs> so, in my opinion, this is definitely something that I would definitely recommend. Um, again, as I stated, uh, I know we are a channel here with different age groups of viewers. For the younger viewers who have not seen uh, Meet the Clumps, please, please, please watch it. Find a way to watch it because it's one of the best Eddie Murphy movies, uh, comedy-wise, uh, that I've ever seen. Um, as we all stated, remember when we did our Throwback Thursday for Life? That was one of my favorite movies. It was also one of my favorite movies, but it's second to life because, you know, that's just my, my thing. But all in all, love the movie. Highly recommend it. So, guys, um, again, if you enjoy what we're doing here, um, don't forget, like, subscribe, leave a comment, turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when we are dropping videos. Um, yeah, join our family. And until next time. Mm -hmm.